Hey TJ, I wanted to do this quick video. We're gonna play this again Thursday night, but just a little preview. This is actually a par four because from the tee box, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The hole is eight tiles away. And you know, the max fly is seven. So what we're gonna do is show you how you can hit a fade and reach the hole in one and actually hole in one is par four. So to hit a fade, you have to declare which tile you're going to land on. So I want to say, this is the tile I'm going to land on. I'm trying to land it about here because I'm going to move it three spaces up and to the right. The only thing that might mess you up is the wind. So that is something you have to take into consideration. So yellow's on the box and it's a sunny day. So he's going to try the fade and he's going to pick that tile. So here we go. Ooh, we got a lucky bounce. Okay, so he did make it on that tile, which is good, but he made it, he was a little too far. Um, so I'm gonna come around over here because I can't reach. So he's up and to the right on the fade. So one, two, three. So actually, I mean, you know, pretty great shot for the first. It actually went eight tiles, so he exceeded the max fly because of the fade. And there's no wind adjustment, so he stays right there now because we are playing with this super cool ball marker. Um, it was actually yellow that hit it, sorry. So we're gonna put yellow's ball marker right there. And I'm just loving this new ball marker uh, mechanic. All right, blues up. Sunny day as well. Okay, he's gonna try to fade as well, same spot. Oh, way too hard all the way off so that's uh exceeds Matt no that's out of bounds third shot same thing oh, check it out okay so check it out when you try a fade and you don't end up on the tie you declare then you slice okay so when the hole is basically everything is to the right like this it's not the worst thing right because he's gonna go directly right one two and I'll just do it again, three. So he ends up there, there's no extra sun adjustment. So um, so it's not terrible when you slice if you have the room to go to the right. So again, we'll put the ball marker, beautiful, I love this. All right, so yellow went, blue went, let's go with our boy Tiger, red. One wind and it is blowing down and to the right. So a fade is going to be tough because it'll move at three, but then you do the wind adjustment down. Actually, so that's not bad because if you do something like yellow, right, that would have moved it closer to the hole. So we're going to go for the same fade up there. Get up. Okay. Well, okay. So first the fade. So one, two, three. And then the, the wind was down and to the right. Puts it right there, right on the edge. So not, you know, wasn't exactly what he wanted, but still a very good position for Birdie to look at that. Look how cool, guys. The ball markers, I'm loving it. All right, orange is our Sergio, sunny day. Trying to fade as well. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh. This fade. One, two, three. If there would have been a wind adjustment up and to the right, it would have been. So again, look at that. So you know the rule. I mean, if you're, you could have the option to tap in if you're on the green. So instead of placing a ball marker, he's gonna go ahead and and clean it up, right? Birdie two for surge. Boom, nice. And then furthest away would be Mickelson, our blue mark, blue player. So he's there, second shot, you know, replaces his ball, picks up his little marker, rolls for win, sunny day. So now it's, uh, for me anyway, for me would be left hand, middle finger, second shot. Oh, another bird. All right. Uh, next would be Tiger, picks up this ball marker. You guys loving this or what? He isn't. He was in the middle there, between the fairway and the rough. So you'd have to roll to see which. Sunny day means he picks, so it'll be obviously the fairway for bird. <laughs> Golf. 
he pars it. And our boy Ernie Earls in the sand. Now, I'm gonna talk more about this on Thursday night with the pro rule. So the new rule with the sand is you can't ground your club, which means in this game, you cannot put either hand, elbow, anything on the table. You cannot lean your, you know, your upper body on the table. So you have to literally be in the air. You know, sometimes you would lean your hand down or, you know, get some, get some stability by putting your hand down. Well, no more. With the sand, you have to be kind of in the air and you can't ground your club for a birdie two. This is really difficult. It's much different, but he still nailed that he was close enough. Pick up your ball marker and move on. All right, so three birdies and a par, not bad. I'm loving it, guys. This is changing the game. This is changing the game. You guys are going to love it, too. We'll talk soon.